everyone, this is Navya Kushalappa here. Welcome to Let's Talk Fashion. And we have our designer, Jatin Kochar, who just showcased his collection, It's a New Day, It's a New Dawn, in the 23rd edition of Bangalore Fashion Week tonight. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Fantastic. How was the collection? How was the experience? Do you know, this is my 32nd year in business. So, do I need to say more? <laughs> 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 I, I have done this for a lifetime now Okay. and uh, um, I obviously absolutely love it. So you've showcased in Bangalore Fashion Week before? Yes, lots of times. What made you come back? Bangalore. <laughs> uh, it's the people, it's the energy. For me, Bangalore is a very young city, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a student city nice. uh, and the whole vibe of the place and also I think it's very uh, modern. So tell us more about your collection from tonight. The collection, see the thing is I have, uh, I turned 50 this year. Wow. And uh, we've all survived the pandemic. That's why we're all here. So that's why, that's this is the whole idea behind it. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Wonderful. So let's just make the best of everything. <laughs> So that's why I had uh, lots of color, lots of print, happiness, uh, very clubby, happy music. Because I wanted to be 20 minutes of hardcore partying for people, you know, <laughs> just the whole feel, look and feel. We did witness the show and uh, we think you really gave justice to the models to just have fun on the show, fun Absolutely. on the stage. And yes, that's what That happened. was the whole idea. <laughs> because when you reach 50, you realize, ah, don't have too much time. <laughs> Make the best of whatever you have. <laughs> well, you clearly did. <laughs> so Absolutely. how was your journey as a fashion designer? See, I've been truly blessed by Almighty. Um, I started when I was 18. And at 19, I opened my store. So it's just been His grace. Because I have no formal training. And uh, I have managed to show in 26 countries. Wow. And well, so far, absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't say so far so good. <laughs> it is beyond good. Wonderful. So, um, what does your brand take on sustainability factor? Mm, I have to be honest. And I have to begin with this. Sustainability is the biggest scam going around. Okay? <laughs> having say said that, that yeah, yeah, having said that, uh, there are lots of people who are truly working towards it and want to make a difference. But a large chunk of people, I would say 80% is the scam. So what we can do to begin with, uh, in terms of sustainability is to begin with this whole idea of, I will wear my outfit once and not again is absolutely ridiculous. Totally agree. And uh, little things that you can do at home, you know, if you have growing kids, so, but you know, I have three kids and the clothes rotate. So the eldest one is 20. So when he grew up, his clothes were given to his cousins. Because kids grow up so quick that some of the clothes you don't even, some of them are packed, they are new. Yes. And because they're growing so rapidly. So I think this is a great idea for people to encourage using the product. Now, see, I'll give you a very interesting example. Uh, distressed look is really big. So people will buy an expensive t-shirt which has holes in it. Right. But if they have their own t-shirt with holes in it, they are embarrassed. Absolutely. That makes sense, yes. I mean, it is so confusing. So if you spend money, then you don't get embarrassed. I'm not saying wear torn clothes, but you can use them till as much as you can. And how you can uh, increase the life of the garment is by looking, looking after it. I still wear clothes that I bought when I was 18 years old. That's wonderful. That itself is sustainable. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And also, it's better to invest in slow fashion. It is expensive. But we have to understand why is it expensive. Yes. So if I have bought something, I bought a pair of Prada boots 
25 years ago. I still wear them. They're still brand new. They're still intact because it's the quality, it's the design that you pay for. Yes. And also, uh, because you're all young people and I know everybody's into fast fashion. So if you're really concerned about sustainability, you have to stop doing that. <laughs> stop but buying those cheap things. More of a timeless well, that's great. Well, timeless is fine, but you are buying at certain stores and brands that promote fast fashion. That is the biggest culprit. Right. So that's where you need to begin. Well, that was a great knowledge. The message to the generation. Itself. I hope so. <laughs> Um, so tell us more about your work process in creating this beautiful collection for tonight. How was it? How was the efforts, ups and downs? And no, ups and downs are always there. So the thing is, uh, I, like a lot of people, uh, had not been on a vacation for a very long time. You know, COVID and we have a little one and all of that put together. So the whole idea behind this collection was that whoever is looking forward to go for a vacation. Mm -hmm. So these clothes are for them. So they are full of colour. Not very formal. Right. Um, fun. In their element. In their element. <laughs> yeah, and so whatever, what I you know, whatever you want to do. So I told them. For example, we started the show. So I told her, if you are listening to this song by yourself, what are you going to do? You know, you admire yourself, you look at yourself in the mirror, you talk, you, you know, you move, you do your own thing, you're in your space. So I said, that's what you need to do. That's what each one of you needs to do. So what is that the music is provoking in you? And they showed it. And they showed it. And I said, please go all out and do your voguing. Absolutely. That's why it was really, you know, energetic, in the rhythm, you yes. know, having their fun, doing their thing. I, it was really casual and you know not choreographed or it, it no. didn't look very staged. That's the whole thing. Hmm? It was wonderful. <laughs> Oops, I thought I had. Sorry. It's okay. Anyways, uh, so we got to know a lot of you know vast knowledge on what you think about fashion and a message to this generation as well. So thank you so much for being here. We hope to see you in the further editions as well. With Absolutely. A lot more. I hope you'll call me. I will. We will definitely. The energy, of course, we need that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for.